Welcome back to Susie Cube. 4-4. Four, four. So we're halfway through World 4. Moving on to... Lava Level. Oh, what do you want from me here? I appreciate the teleporter back. These platforms, I expected them to give me way more trouble than they do. But they're not actually bad at all. If that's just a bunch of coins, then heck with them. Don't know what your deal is. I see what your deal is. Oh, and I saw the blue coin. First one, so we're good. Oh dear. I'll wait. It's fine. I'm not in a rush. Oh, I don't mind these, but this camera angle is not making it easy. Crip! I mean, you just never know when there's going to be a blue coin around. Do you give a tell? You do give a tell. need it, but I want it. Come on. Couldn't get around the corner in time. Where do you go? You just keep rolling. Wait. Okay, you know what? I don't care that much. Wait, so am I going the side path or the main path? I should have kept going the other direction. about 10 coins that much. I 
I mean, this is certainly a heck of a challenge. But also, why am I here? Magnet. Magnet power? Why do I have magnet power? Oh, crap! Okay, we're good. So does that dip down? It sure does. Wait, so what, do I want to go up? Stuff this way. Third one. So maybe it was on the other path. The halfway path. At which point was that... Why was the challenge path the one without the prize? Unless you got it and it, like, teleported you back and then you're like, oh, well... was here. I knew there was something here. Come on, you can get him. means this area... This is just for a wing cap. Alright, so that is stage four, time for a boss. I just want to say I appreciate that thus far, especially coming off something like Mass Attack, where it feels like just moving is a challenge. Just getting around. Here, this game controls well. Like, I can just do things. It's not an extra layer of, like, stress or anything. Like, it's not. Nah, I just run, jump, and go. Let's go. And that's not saying that um, specifically because of how I, how I had to play mass attack, but more so. That's credit to how good this game controls. Wait, so what's this way? I made it! Yeah, that's more credit to how good this game controls, and that Kirby did, at the end of the day, have an unorthodox control scheme. So I notice I'm not on a time limit. Oh, well, I... I guess I didn't want that. Yeah, get him. I feel like this world isn't falling into a pit. Oh. Um, what do you 
all want me to do. Can you come over here so I can hit you? Do you move? I get you to hit each other. Oh, maybe it's over this. I think that's the center. Yeah, I got one. Yeah, I got two. Got him. Got him! Oh wow, you actually had to do the double kill. Oh, I was worried. I was, I was worried I would have to do the double kill. So I'm really glad that it just kind of worked out. is this? Okay, I'm gonna take a wild guess that I cannot step on the leaves. He doesn't have a band-aid on his head. If I get hit, am I just out of luck, or are you gonna give me power-ups over the course of the fight? fire. Get him! Yeah, no band-aid. I've got to pound him. Like, that immediately told you something is a little different when there's no band-aid. Like, you've got to do something different. Oh man, does that mean if I get hit once, I'm just kind of out of luck? And the spikes kind of just limit where you can move. Oh, bots. Do give me a power-up, good. Crap. I don't know if that counted as... I don't think that hurt him. No, it didn't. Okay, so that complicates matters. I mean, I got it down enough now. And, like, these guys, I just have to avoid. You know, unless they do that. I can kill them by walking them into the lava. That's also good. Now that I'm not distracted dealing with the guys, I can just hit him on the head. Yeah, so last time absolutely did not count. He didn't do the huff.
Ah. Crap! I may be good, actually. Because when the buttons come up, it should drop me a power-up. Hey. Like it used some of the same mechanics, but that boss felt so different from all the other ones. Interesting that they built it so much around this helmet, too, but they also gave you outs if you got hit. So you weren't just, yeah, you got hit, you lost the helmet, you're out of luck. I mean, they gave you helmets occasionally? But even for the period of time when you didn't have a helmet, you weren't, like, completely out of luck. Yeah, I'm still not in t not 100% on how to deal with the bullets. If you, it, as I did discover, if you have the helmet though, they're super easy to take out. Okay, 4S. Ah, the diamond pig. Having the helmet does help, because you can- you don't have to hit the pig dead on. If you pound the ground near him, it'll stun him. But that's World 4! We did it! So next world is... the final world. And then the sea- oh, there's a lot of stages in the secret world. Okay, well, until next time, everyone. World 5.